So for those of you who keep up with my channel, you may have been wondering recently where the hell I've been, what I've been doing, and why my upload consistency has kind of sucked, and there's a ginormous reason for that. Uh, basically, I've moved all of my YouTube operations from my parents' house to a new apartment. In other words, I have partially moved out for academic and business reasons, and it's been quite the week going to Ikea and building stuff and just, yeah. The move process has taken up so much time and I hope it explains the lack of content. But anyway, today I wanna to show you how I plan things out here with the help of my iPad Pro, and then I wanna show you what I've been able to accomplish so far. This living space is far from complete, but I've managed to you know, get some furniture in here and stuff, and I just can't wait to show you around. But before we continue here, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like, comment, and of course, click the bell icon if you are a recurring viewer. So this is the clip I managed to get when I was touring the apartment a few days ago. Uh, so here's the living room space. We're approaching the balcony. I couldn't talk because the like attendant or associate was right outside. So I'm just gonna explain right now. Here's the dining room area. We're gonna enter the kitchen and I'm gonna open the fridge or the just whatever. Yeah, the fridge super aggressively. <laughs> just watch this and just like, a, uh, and then I'm gonna open up the fridge and then I'm gonna slam it shut. No, I don't know. And then we're gonna walk into the hallway area. Uh, and this is where the bedrooms are. We have a bathroom here, um, pretty bare bones, nothing too crazy going on. Pretty clean though, there's me, hi. Uh, then we're gonna get out of the bathroom, hopefully. Can we go? Cool, okay. Then we have um, the bedroom, which I plan on inhabiting, of course, uh, putting a bed in there and a nightstand and maybe a school desk. Uh, okay, are we done? I'm just like watching this back. That's why I'm impatient. And then here's the master bedroom, which I plan on turning into a YouTube studio. It's a nice big room and I can write it off of my taxes or whatever. Like I can write off the square footage here. It's bigger and of course more suited for my work. So here we have my iPad Pro 12.9 inch, my daily driver tablet. I've been doing some research off camera on Ikea and Amazon, of course, using my magic keyboard case because it replicates the experience you get with the MacBook. I can type quickly and scroll. I love it. Uh, but now that I want to sort of sketch and draw, I have my iPad on a desktop here, my top down background, as you well know. And with all this said, what I'm going to do now is open up an instance of Notability on the left here so I can sort of annotate on a floor plan that I've dropped in here like so from my photo library or gallery here and I'm gonna resize this window so I have more space to draw but also have enough room to see what I am wanting to buy so the first thing that I'm gonna take a look at is the couch that I want to get and that is called Karlstad uh, I like it because it's cheaper. I'm really scared that I'm not gonna be able to get one in time because people are just flying into Ikea and buying stuff. But if I was to put that somewhere, I would put it right in the living room, like so, like right here. And you know what? I'm gonna choose a thinner uh, tip because this is just too thick. So let me just go like a couple sizes down. So here is the couch. I'm gonna annotate in red because why not? I wanna differentiate it uh, from the black outline here and I'm already failing, dang. Uh, so here it would be the couch. I can't draw a rectangle to save my life. Here we are, couch. There we go, that's good enough for me. Um, it would probably take about that much room in my living room here. And obviously with the couch comes a TV setup, so I'm gonna find the Brusali unit I was looking at. It's called that, I think, here we are. Uh, this was what I was looking at a minute ago, and I would, of course, put that right across from it because, oops, uh, I wanna have a nice uh, entertainment setup here. So that would go like right here, and of course a TV would go on top of that, probably hang over the sides too because I want to get a bigger one. This is like 47 inches wide and I'm sure a bigger TV would not totally fit on there. Hopefully the stand will fit on there, but anyway, I'll do my research. Uh, then I'm thinking about my bed. That's another big uh, piece of furniture. So I'm gonna find, uh, I was looking at a bed frame. Uh, my friend Isaac, you know him as Canoops, he recommended this. Yep, here we go. Here is the bed frame and of course the bed here. And at the moment I'm thinking that I'm gonna put it in the corner, oops, I have the eraser set on. Maybe in the corner, maybe I might put it sort of in the middle, maybe I might put it on this wall, or um, excuse me, this wall. But I'm probably just gonna put the bed like right here and then have some sort of nightstand next to it. Uh, this is the one actually, it looks pretty clean and it's pretty cheap as well. And although I haven't looked at a desk because they're all out of stock right now because it's like dorm room season, I'd probably put something right here, maybe mount a TV on the wall or have some sort of monitor here for my MacBook because I wanna do schoolwork in this room and completely separate myself from my YouTube work, which would be done in the master bedroom or I'll call it the studio space really. And I'd probably put 
my workspace, like my Linmon table, and eventually hopefully a standing desk like right here and have my iMac here. Although there is a window here from what I remember when I visited. So I might end up moving this over here. And I like how I can just sort of rotate this like so and pinch and resize. And then I'd probably put my top down setup right next to this because it's sort of flush and like it just takes up one wall very nicely. Although I'm worried about like my little top down rig sort of cutting into the walls. But more realistically speaking, I'm probably gonna have to have my top down setup right here with my soft boxes. As you can see here, I'm drawing them very crudely with my little top down rig. Oh, and by the way, I have this really big closet here, which is great for storing, you know, like junk and boxes and my film gear. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, going back out into the hallway, I'm not gonna touch the bathroom because like what, I'm gonna put like a shower curtain up, uh, maybe like a bath mat or something. I don't know, like something simple. So yeah, who cares? The kitchen too, uh, I don't know. I might put lighting in there or something, who knows, but all my appliances are in one place and it looks fine to me. As for the dining room, I plan on putting a table in here. It could be a circle table, but I'm thinking that I'm going to do some sort of rectangle table to take up sort of this area here. Something big enough for like maybe six people here. I'm looking at a table from Ikea called Ekal down here. I'll pull this up. Yep, this is the table that I'm looking at. I'll resize the window to show you a little bit more. I'm looking at it in white and probably the bigger size. If I can get the smaller size, I will because it's cheaper. Uh, but yeah, the white table in this looks pretty decent and I'd probably pair it with some gray chairs. I have to decide on which chairs though. And then paying more attention to the living room, uh, if I can get a armchair, I'd probably put it here or here. So I'll just have two little locations. And then as for lighting, I'm looking at these shelf lamps. I think they look super nice and they go with my white walls and whatever, and they're not too expensive. So I'd probably put one here and one here to kind of have some light happening to beam on this sort of dimly lit living room right now. And then um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I might put like a shelf right here to put my keys on and maybe to have some sort of smart home device, maybe like a Google Home Hub that I have at home. Uh, and then as for this space right here, I might keep it open. Uh, I might put another like seat there. I don't know for like just conversation or whatever. I might have some space for like shooting B-roll. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, and then I have a balcony, which I'm gonna do something with. I just don't know yet, but I know for a fact I'm gonna be shooting some clips out there. So I'll probably make it look nice and hang out there a little bit more because it's outside and you get some fresh air and whatever. And uh, yeah, this is simple, this is crude, but this gives me an idea of how I'm going to set up my place here. I got my bed, I got my master bedroom slash studio happening. Of course, my dining area with tables. I'll draw them real quick, just four for right now. This little empty bit of space, my living room setup, which I'm actually really excited about. I gotta see which TV I'm gonna buy and everything. And then a shelf here and yeah, you know, like I said, this isn't anything impressive. This is not like the one guy who wrote his whole like, you know, like cardiology notebook and it's beautiful, but hopefully this goes to show how you can use iPad Pro to research for, you know, I don't know, interior design or just your life. So yeah, this helps me and this will allow me to uh, less stressfully put together my place. So here we are at the front door. We got one of these chain things. I always thought these were cool anyway. Uh, here is the living room space. It has come along uh, from that initial video that I showed you. I'll switch to the wide angle camera here. We have two lamps happening here. I got them off of Amazon. I'll link stuff in the video description and I will go over each individual product in like a more in-depth set of video in the future. But yeah, these are two shelf lamps that I got. I got this rug from Ikea. This is another Ikea piece. It's called Brusali, I think. It's like 70 bucks looks pretty nice and it was kind of hard to build. I think I had a friend here because I was breaking stuff. So that's why I didn't vlog the process of building because I just would have looked stupid. But anyway, on top of this Brusali unit, we have a Samsung 55 inch 4K TV. I believe this is the TU7000. It's pretty budget for a 4K TV. It's like 400 bucks. Um, of course there are cheaper options, but this is sort of mid range, I would say. Decent brightness, decent speakers. And of course I got an Apple TV to go with it here is the remote and I have been just loving the experience here. Just super, super clean. Let me go back to the menu here. Yeah, it's just really nice. I've never owned an Apple TV and I'm really excited to have that now. And what the hell is that? Okay, I don't know what that was, but <laughs> let's just continue here. And then in the corner here, we have my AT&T modem. I recently got fiber internet and just wow. 
I'm not used to it. I'm not used to having insane download and upload speeds. Instead of, you know, taking 45 minutes to upload a video, now it'll take two, which is just fantastic. And then if we look in front of the TV, we have a Karlstad couch from Ikea. This was around 400 bucks, 450 with the couch cover. I actually bought the couch without the cover and had to drive all the way back to my state's Ikea. But I was actually lucky. I got the last one in stock and it's, you know, pretty budget, I would say, compared to some of the other options there. And I enjoy it. It's clean. It was very easy to build and I think it's very comfortable and I got to iron it out. It's all wrinkled. But yeah, I love sitting here and I think that this is just a really clean setup. I just love the fact that I can watch YouTube and Disney Plus and whatever um, right here. I want to put like LEDs behind the TV, something cheap off of Amazon or something, maybe like RGB. I don't know. We'll see here. Anyway, um, on this wall, I plan on putting this shelf. It's upside down, but it's like a white shelf, sort of similar and look to these items like the lamp and the Brasali. And I have um, a Google Home Hub that I'm gonna put on there and probably a lamp at some point. Here's all my tools that I've been using to assemble stuff. Um, this is the table that I picked out. This is the Ekadalen from Ikea. It's a 70 inch table that's extendable to 90 inches. I'm probably gonna keep it at 70 then we'll put glass on top of it and put it like right here. It's a white table by the way. And of course I got those gray chairs coming. If I didn't show you them, I'll show a picture right now. And I'll be putting it right in here. I'm probably gonna invite a friend over to help me assemble this. And then we got all these boxes over here for my mattress, which I'll show you and just TV stuff and lamps. And it's just, I'm just wondering how I'm gonna get this all out of my apartment. But if I manage to get all this in, then I can manage to get this out. Um, then we have my kitchen. It's decent, I don't know. Uh, I think it'll look a lot better if I put like LED strips underneath these cabinets here, because it looks kind of clinical, kind of sad right now, but uh, at least I got, you know, appliances. I'm kind of happy with the look here. The cabinets don't look half bad as well. They go with the floor. Then we got my plastic bag makeshift trash happening here. Anyway, let's move down the hall. By the way, this place is like 830 square feet. It was a lot bigger than I thought in person. And yeah, I'm very happy with the open space that I have for shooting B-roll and, you know, consuming media in here. Like this is like a living room and B-roll space. And then of course I have my bedroom and my studio space down here which I will show you. Let's take a quick look in my bathroom. Not that you want to see, I don't know. It's pretty boring, gray shower curtain, you know, sink, some razor I got on the box, my uh, toothbrush, yay. Uh, anyway, here is my bedroom. Uh, I got uh, my mattress yesterday. It was like all vacuum sealed in a bag. I got it off of Amazon. I'll even link that. It's really decent. It's a 10 inch mattress. It was 250 bucks. Then I got this $120 like non-box spring base or whatever you want to call this. It's steel. It was very easy to assemble. We have all the plastic ever that can just totally contaminate the ocean in my uh, closet here. We have some uh, business attire. I don't know, just nicer clothes in here. I just wanted to see what these would look like in my closet. I got some Ikea uh, little hangers, whatever these are called. And then I have a nightstand, which I have to assemble. And it's the same table that I showed you over here. I'll just walk out this way. That one I just showed you, that box I just pointed at is the black version of this. So I'm gonna have that as a sort of nightstand. And it looks pretty nice. It was not too expensive. And then finally here, we have my studio space, and it is very bare bones right now, kind of messy. This is the, you know, known A-roll setup, you know, the little top-down thing that I have going on here. Nothing has changed at all. I plan on shooting A-roll in this corner, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have like a chair here, and then set up like a tripod right here, and then just sort of like sit right here, and then, you'll see this sort of corner backdrop. I might like bounce some lights up on the wall or I don't know, decorate it, make it look cool, but yeah. So that's where I'll be sitting now. And then of course I have my setup, which really hasn't changed too much other than the fact that I'm just sticking with the iMac monitor now. Uh, this is my 2019 iMac, by the way. I did not get a 2020 Intel model for people who are confused from my uh, community post. This is the 2019 maxed out Vega 48 9900K model with RAM that I put in and everything. Uh, I have a Linmon table that I had. I'm using this for right now as well as this chair, but eventually I plan on getting a standing desk and hopefully a nice chair so I don't ruin my back by the age of 30. We got my M50Xs. We got things plugged into the wall. So yeah, this is what I got going on. Uh, I have a long way to go before this place feels more like home, but I'm super happy with how things are turning out. It's just so nice to come out here and work without any noise or distractions. And it's also nice to have a light. You know, I can drive out here and have my own place after what, six months being cooped up at home in quarantine. So yeah, this is my apartment so far. 
And that about wraps things up here. I hope this video was fun. It certainly was for me. Once again, thank you for making this all possible. I can't believe people find me interesting and watch my stuff. You know, I just, I create the content and you guys want to watch it. So I am obliged to continue to upload, hopefully quality content, you know, even with school happening and life happening. But anyway, here, I'm excited to create more segmented type videos going over my setups once they're more complete. Like I'll have like a living room space video, a studio space video, maybe like a bedroom tour. I don't know where I have everything, you know, more set up and, you know, decorated and whatever. But anyway, I'd appreciate it once again, if you leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.